Hi, you don't know me, but my name is Jeremy. I say that because you must not know me. If something is hard, I shouldn't do it. I'm pretty sure that's not correct. The things that are hard in life are often the most rewarding. I can do hard things. I won't say that I will do anything, but I can do some hard things. So here is what I dug out of the box from May of 2018 when I was in the hole. I played it in a sense, a feel of discontent. I'm finally facing it all, fearless. How many hips have worn these orange underwear? To how many feet? Were those socks once a pair? How many faces has the mirror seen scowl? How many asses have dried off with my towel? How many folks have slept under this bright light? How many bodies have used my blankets at night? How many fingers have thumbed through that book? How many men's pisses as that toilet bowl took. How many have laid on the concrete block bed? How many have had my pillow below their head? How many sad souls have paced this cold floor? How many sad souls have been trapped by this steel door? The whole story. Thirteen and a half steps heel to toe in length. Five and a half steps heel to toe at the widest point about two inches beyond my outstretched fingertips. The bed is a concrete slab about two feet wide, less than the length of my arm. Roughly six feet long and about 18 inches high. A big ass rock. My toilet is connected to my sink. Cold stainless steel. I have a small steel desk and a steel stool. They're bolted to the wall and the floor. Perfectly uncomfortable. My door is steel. It slides open and closed by way of a noisy electric motor. There is a small port where the handcuffs get put on and taken off. Three times a day food comes in the port. None ever goes back out. My socks are orange. My t-shirt is orange. My towel is orange. My cup is orange. My spork is orange. My underwear are orange. My coveralls are white and my mood is black. I have a mattress, two blankets, a sheet, a pillow, and a pillowcase. There's no telling how many people have slept with them. My bedding is a dirty little whore. I have a flexible pen, 15 sheets of paper, and three envelopes. I have a bar of unscented soap, unscented deodorant, clear and running toothpaste, and a tiny, tiny toothbrush. I can't order anything else. That stinks. I stink. Breakfast comes at 6 a.m. Lunch comes at 10.30 a.m. Dinner comes at 4.30 p.m. Hunger comes in between. The mall. There's no coffee. There's no aspirin. There is headaches. I clean. I clean a lot. I wash the walls. I wash the desk. I wash the bed. I wash the floor. I wash myself in the sink with my orange cup and unscented soap. I wash my damn socks too. I clean to pass an hour. I pass an hour singing songs. I sing the Brady Bunch song. I sing the Gilligan's Island song. I need to learn more songs. I pass hours with books. Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, I get a book. If I read too fast or too often, I run out of pages. I can read 40 to 60 pages per hour. You do the math. My life is about passing hours. Every hour passed is one hour closer to getting out of here. When enough hours have passed, I can leave the hole. I want that. I pass minutes sleeping. I get woken up every 30 to 45 minutes. The light stays on all day and night. There are loud noises all day and night. Doors slam open and closed. Crazy people yell and bang. 
I don't sleep well. I can shower on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I get 10 minutes to shower. 10 warm minutes. I like shower days. I get clean clothes on shower days. I have a yellow line on my floor. Four heel-to-toe steps away from the steel door. I must be on the yellow line to be fed. I must be on the yellow line to get a book. I must be on the yellow line to get a shower. I must be on the yellow line or they will pass me up. My pod has 24 cells. They're full of crazy people. I can go days without talking to anyone. I like that. I'm antisocial. I passed three hours writing this and measuring myself. Three hours closer to getting out of the hole. I am ready to get out. They're not ready to let me out. They win. Having the light on 24-7, that's another punishment under the guise of safety. In population, we can turn out the cell light. It never gets totally dark and the staff all have flashlights if needed. Why do the lights have to be on in the hole? Punishment. Nothing to do with being able to see whether we're alive, as we can be under the blankets with a sheet around our necks. Pleasant image? One hour a day, five times a week, I can go to yard. Yard is a small plexiglass room with a phone and pull-up bar. There are 168 hours in the week. I spend 163 in my cell. Two weeks, three weeks, 30 days, 60 days, six months, a year, two years. How long can they keep me in the hole? How long can I survive the hole? I know the answer to one, forever, but not the other one. Only time will tell which one I answered.